bless you. Welcome to online interactive Bible study. We bless the holy name Hallelujah. of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And this is going to begin to work its wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies in the name of Amen. Jesus. We are so glad you are able to join with us on this exciting program. We bless God for his goodness and mercies. And you know what God will begin to work its wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies. Amen. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of the Body of Christ Center. And I have my wife, Pastor Pinker. God bless you. You are blessed and highly favored. We are welcome to Body of Christ Christian yes. Center Life Online. Bible study. Yes. We pray the Lord will meet you today, will bless you with His word, with His words, and your life will not be the same in Jesus' name. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. The God we are serving is a mighty God. Thanks for those who came on early and waited through the intro. God will bless you. Mm. We do appreciate you every now and then. And God will honor you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is interactive Bible study where we show ourselves approved of God and we share the word of God together. It's interactive. You know, we don't just dump it on you. We interact together. There was an iron, sharpened iron. We have question time. We have praise time. We have prayer time. We have discussion time. You know what? God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. And don't forget, we are on two platforms. And stay tuned. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are welcome in the name of Jehovah. And please, as you are joining, you know what? Invite somebody. Tell them about this Bible study. They will be blessed. And God will bless you for inviting somebody. Thank you so much for not taking your coming for granted. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Let your writing pad, your pen, your writing pad, your Bible ready. And we'll be exploring the word of the living God. And the Holy Ghost will teach us even this hour in Jesus' name. So let's continue sharing. Thanks for those who have shared already. Let's continue sharing. Let's share as far and as wide as possible. And God will bless you. So share mm -hmm. on your timeline. Those who are on Facebook, that is our Facebook details, as you can see on the screen. Share on your timeline. Share on your Facebook page. Share within the groups you belong to. And share intercontinentally. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. And those who are on YouTube, that's our YouTube channel. You know what? You are on already. God will bless you. Please send the links to all your social media platforms, number one, number two. You know, all people you are subscribed, all the groups you are subscribed into, begin to um, share to them. And all your own subscribers, share to them. Let's share, let's get sharing, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. And please, as you are sharing the page, like and love it. Like and love the page, and God will bless you, even like never before, in Jesus' name. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you once again. You are welcome in Jesus' name to interactive Bible study. We are so glad you are able to join us for this Bible study. And we know you are going to be blessed. And you know what? Get your questions ready. We are so excited. We are so happy. Oh, we are always happy when we see you posting your questions. That shows that you are you want to grow, you are very curious, and you mm -hmm. want to know more of God. So maybe you are watching TV or radio, or you saw something on social media, or you read your Bible, or you because some friends and some things came up, you know what? Get your questions ready at the right time. We'll let you know when it's time. We begin to post it either on Facebook or YouTube, pick it up from either of the platforms, and then we discuss the bit and move ahead, and then we can get more wisdom. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You are all welcome. Invite somebody. And you know what? Let's write together in the word of God yes. and let's get profit from God's word. Yes. Father, we thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Give all the praise, glory, honor. Amen. Thank you for your grace. You bring us to be here again. The second to the last day of this month we bless you and the last wednesday of this month we bless and worship you this is your doing as marvelous in our eyes accept our thanks in jesus name Amen. thank you for your love for your grace for your mercy thank you for being with us for not allowing any evil to befall us marvelous king accept our thanks in the name of jesus Amen. there is none like unto you there's none besides you there's none we can compare unto you you are the great god you are the El Shaddai. you are the Jehovah Nisi. accept our thanks in jesus name Amen. every sin not forgive in jesus name Amen. cleanse us with your blood Amen. Holy Ghost, your word says, where two or three people are gathered together in your name, there you will be in their midst. My Father, come down into our midst and have your will. Amen. Prove yourself. Let it be glorified. Come down with your fire. Amen. Come down with your power. Come down with your grace. Come down Amen. with your understanding of your word. My Father, every single forgive in Jesus' name. Amen. Come with your blood. Amen. Holy Ghost, come down with your fire and power. Do any work. We bind, we cast to hell every demonic power. My Father, in the air, sky, moon, sun, and the water, we bind them, we cast them to hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. We plead the blood of blood Jesus. Of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. 
We plead the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Cover every viewer with the blood. blood cover Lord ourselves Jesus. with the blood. We cover the guys' connections with the blood. Amen. Have your way. Lord, meet us at the very point of our need. Amen. We have come to have an encounter with you and to know your word the more. Meet us at the very point of our Amen. need and let your name be glorified. Amen. Touch everybody, to every heart, every soul. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank we you. give all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're just joining us, you are welcome in the name yes. of the Lord. Let's go before the Lord and begin to thank Him this morning, this night. Say, Father, we thank you, O oh God, yes, yes. for another Bible study. Yes. We are among the living. Yes. We are able to be a part of this. Yes. Let's thank Him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
over to this meeting. Heavenly Father, we pray the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus over to tonight's meeting, Lord God. Marie Kavala Bagada. We overcame by the blood of the brothers for testimony. Holy Ghost, have your way, have your way, have your way. Marketo Skida Bagada. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Spirit, as we come into your prayers, accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We soak this meeting in the blood of Jesus. Have your way, oh God. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. And once again, you are welcome to interactive Bible study. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And this God will begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies. We are so excited and so glad you are able to join with us. So please, as you are joining, keep on sharing, keep on sharing, and keep on sharing. And God will bless you. Amen. And the goodness and the riches and the blessings in the word of God will be shared even into your lives and destinies. Amen. And once again, you are welcome to interactive Bible study. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're all welcome in yes. Jesus' name. Share the program. Yes, share, share. And God will bless us all. And please don't get distracted. Mm. This is the word of the living God. Yes, Settle with, the word, with God's word. Mm. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Right now, I want to go into praise and worship. That's part of what we have packed in this program. So let's praise and worship God in the of holiness and tell your life and never remain the same. So let's join the choir, invite the choir to join, to sing to God, and we all join together. And we'll see you after that praise and worship, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. So we worship the word of the Lord right now and say hallelujah to you, God. Hey.
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God says, send for this word and heal them and deliver them from all their destruction. Yes. Let your word heal me tonight. Let's begin to pray. Father Jehovah, let your word heal me. 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 Let your word heal your people. Let your word heal your people. The power that's in the word of the Lord. Touch every life that is watching right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This is sent forth this word. Now send your word to me tonight. I want to receive your word even like never before. Let's begin to cry out to God. Heavenly Father, I pray this night. Send your word into my life, oh God. Into my life, send your word. Into your people's life. We cry out to you. Let your word, oh God, touch every life today. Meet every need, oh God. Touch every situation. In Jesus' name, we pray. He sent for his word and he led them and delivered them. Father, deliver me through your word, oh God. From every captivity, deliver me. Let's begin to cry out to God. Father, I pray, oh God, you are the mighty God. Deliver me, 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 there's power in your word. Yes. Let the power in your word be manifest and manifested in my life. Let's begin to pray. The power in the word of God. Let the power in the word touch our lives, touch every situation. We cry out to you. We look up to you. The power in your word. The power in your word. The power in your word. The power in your Amen. There's power of creation in your word. Your creative power. Let your creative power in your word. Your creative power in your word. Let's begin to create good things in my life. Let's begin to finish. Father, you have the creative power in the word of the living God. Make it up, ocean. Dele, dele, dele. Handle the boss. Handle the boss. Make it up, boss. Cause we make it up. Man, tell the boss. Get rich, get up. Let your word be creative in every life, oh God. Make a rope, oh God, shut up. Amen. The Bible said they heard the word of voice and came running out of their fatness. So as your word begins to come tonight, my Father, let every demon and power and authority begin to run. Out of my life and, and, and be bound and cast away. Let's begin to pray. Father Jehovah, we declare, we declare, Holy Spirit, our living God. Every power, every authority, power of God, when I summon against our lives, let me command, Yama by Father, because the power of the Holy Ghost, He can't have a dose, 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 He can not have a dose 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 he can not have a dose
every mountain before me into pieces. Let's begin to pray. Father Jehovah, I pray tonight. Let the word of God that will come for today break every mountain before me. Let the dust get dead. Let the 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 get dead. Let your word is like fire in my bones. Mm. Let your word become fire in me. Yes. I said that I can carry your fire everywhere I go. Father, you have a prayer and I declare. Let your word, oh God, become fire in my body, in my bones, in my spirit. Your word, mighty Father, releases. You send forth your word, mighty Father, and it begins to be. Let your word that is going to come for today release me from every entire. Of the enemy, to Father, 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 let the word of God release me from every body, from every captive, from every sin. Ah, let your word deliver me tonight, deliver my family, deliver my people, oh God, by power, by your anointing. Manta Kora Bagade Yagara Bayande Leboko Sada. Let your word deliver us, O God. Amen. In the beginning, Lord, your word created and put things in place. Let your word to now put my life in order and in place. Let us begin to pray. Father Jehovah, mighty God, eternal God, let your word put our lives in order. My life, hear the word of the living God and be in order. My household life be in order. Mark Adeke Dupaga Lakis Katala. Make a reke Dora Bagadaya. Intene me kente ne me satan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's thank God. My life received the miraculous hand of God. Mm. My life received the mighty miraculous hand of God through the word that I will hear tonight. Mm. Let's begin to pray. My Father, my life received the, the miraculous God. hand of God. That's when the word of God will come for miracles happen. My life, my destiny received the mighty miraculous hand of God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's tell God, Lord, the word that I will receive tonight, let the word of God take me to the next level. Because that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the, the word, word of God. God. The word of God that we hear today, take me to the next level, oh God. Let's begin to cry oh, out to God. Father, I pray, oh God, your word that we hear today, take me to the next level. Take me to the next level. Man, I want to go to the next realm in you. Holy Spirit, that we live in God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's tell God, through your word, oh God, open my spiritual eyes, my spiritual Yes, my spiritual understanding, Father, enlighten me through your word, oh God. Let's begin to cry out to God, Father. I pray through your word, enlighten me, quicken me, open me up spiritually. My spiritual eyes be open, my spiritual ears be open, my spiritual understanding be open. Make it to Shkada in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Let your word transform my life. Yes, so your word transform the life of so and made important. Let your word that we hear tonight transform yes. my life. Let's to pray. Father Jehovah, your, your, your word is transformational. Let, let, let the word of the living God transform my life. Father, I cry out to you. Transform my life. Transform my life. I look up to you. Transform my life. You are the able God. You are the mighty God. Let transformation power touch my life. Man the core of shake the Amen. Your word brings back to life. My father, whatever the enemy has killed is good. Let it come back to life as I hear your word tonight. My father, father, in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has destroyed in my life, in any way, in any form, you are the resurrection and the life. Father, my cantaco, let restoration take place in my life. Make it a big day, big edition. Alien and Macadagada, make it a big day, and let it make it a day, Amen. The word is powerful and very creative, and you are a provider. Let your word provide into my life. As we provide it for the five thousand, for the four thousand, uh, provide it for the Israelites in the wilderness. Look, let your word that we have begin to provide for us begin to pray. Father, Father you are in the name of provide, Jesus, King of glory. You are the great provider. Father, provide, 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 provide for me provide, in the miraculous way, in the new way, in the great way. Father, provide, 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 provide for me. Provide for me. Mark O Rabagadeshete. Provide, oh God, for our family. In the Meshkele Beketus Kadarabagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadag
bring me out. Yes. Let's begin to cry Father out to God. I pray, pray and I declare wherever the enemy has put me in my family. Father, let the word of God bring us out. Let the knowledge of the word of God bring us out. The knowledge in the word bring us out. Let the begate it. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let me see you like never before. Let me understand you better tonight through your word that I will hear. Let's begin to cry out to God. Heavenly Father, I want to see you better. I want to understand you better through the word that we hear tonight. Touch me, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray through your word, oh God, do a new thing in my life. Father, do a new thing. Let's begin to tell God, Heavenly Father, do a new thing. Something new. Something new. Something new. Something new in my life. Do a new thing, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you. We give all the praise. We have made our prayers unto you. And Father, grant our request. Amen. Let the name be glorified. Amen. And Father, begin to work your wonders Amen. in our lives. Thank you that we bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to Bible study online. This is where we show our study to show ourselves approved of God. And God will bless you. If you just join us, you are welcome on board. God will bless you. Amen. Our Bible study is interactive. So don't change the dial. Don't scroll down or up. Stick and I tell you, your life shall never remain the same mm-hmm. again. And we have question time. And I believe the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need. If you have not shared already, please kindly share, share, share. Share on your Facebook page. Share on your timeline. Call your friends. Give them a buzz. Call them. SMS them. Tweet them. Um, WhatsApp them. Message them. Call them. One way or the other. Get the attention of your friends and let them come on board. And I tell you, you'll be blessed and you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are welcome in Jesus' name. We believe from Ephesians 6, from verses 10 to 18. Ephesians 6, from verses 10 to 18. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against ritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having guarded your ways with truth, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. And having shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which we'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Earlier in my Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. As you are going to undergo, just speak to us. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Thank Amen. you that we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you know, we are currently teaching the whole armor of God. And we know that the whole armor of God must be upon us, even as Christians is just now. Now, while we are doing the summary of what we have been talking about for the beginning of this year, can you imagine we've been doing this for the beginning of this year? And it's going to about 10 months. We thank God for His goodness and message. Now, if you have a question, as you usually say, if you have question time, you can be putting your questions and you're doing summary. Maybe you've been reading your Bible and you need some information on a verse or a chapter or an issue. You know what? You can post that. Or maybe you've discuss with some friends and you began to discuss. You know how friends will discuss a heated topic and you want to know more. You can also post that as a question. Or maybe you saw something on social media or radio or TV and you want more clarification. You know what? You can post that on. We all deliberate together and share our ideas together and move together. So God will bless you as we begin this summer. You can begin to post it either on Facebook or YouTube, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 10 says, Ephesians 6 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. The Bible is advising us, encouraging us to receive the power and the might that is in God. As I said, yes, that we should be strong. That is, we are not meant to be and uh, we are not to be weak christians yes, but yes. we are supposed to be strong christians that's why it says be strong in the lord and the power of his mind the grace to be strong in god's word we receive that grace in the power of god we receive that power right now in jesus name and the bible says that we should put on the whole armor of god 
that you and I may be able to stand against the wise and the devil. It means that we need to stand against the schemes of the devil. Yes. And the only way by which you can stand against the schemes of the devil, the power of the devil, because let me tell you something, the devil is real. Mm. You say he does, he does not exist, does not wipe him away from existence. Mm. He is real. And he has schemes. He has devices. He has all these things. Remember, like the devil was like the second in command to God. And he has all everything, you understand? So, for him to rebel against God and take away one thought, that means that he has something. That's why you see, the only way that you and I can overcome this devil is by putting on the whole armor of God. No matter what he has up his sleeves, no matter what his skins may be, we're not here to glorify the devil, but we are exposing the works of the devil so that you and I can stand firm. Paul was, knew what he was writing. That's why he wrote what he wrote, that look, put on the whole arm of God that you and I may be able to stand against the wiles of them and God will give us that grace in the name of Jesus. He says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, yes. but against which fights against power, against rebels and high places. And yes. God is saying that as children of God, we should know that our battle on this earth, for, and for, and for information, this life is a battleground. Yes. And the battle is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual one. And so the Bible says that, look, you have to know that you are not fighting against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against unseen powers, mm -hmm. against powers that we cannot see. Yes, That's so. why we must make sure that we have the power of God, because we can only fight the enemy in mm -hmm. the spirit yes, realm, so. in a spiritual way, not in a physical way. Because what we are fighting, there are powers out there, mm -hmm. there are unseen powers, but beloved, we are overcome because we'll fight the enemy in the spiritual way. And take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. That means that when the evil day comes, if you are strong in the Lord, you will to stand. And how can you be strong in the Lord? By taking up the whole armor of God. The whole armor, mm -hmm. not half armor, not quarter armor, mm -hmm. not I feel like taking it up or not. Not today, I don't feel well, I don't feel happy. Let me throw it mm -hmm. down. We cannot afford. You see, your mood shouldn't determine your no, no, having no. the whole armor of God. Because the devil, the enemy does not bother, is not concerned about your mood, mm -hmm. not concerned about what you're going through. That's why you see, the only way we can stand and we stand in the evil day is by taking up the whole armor of God. And my question is that. Do you still have the whole armor of God on you? Please don't take it off. Make sure it's on you. Wear it day and night, 24 7, mm. that you and I can be strong in the Lord and stand against the evil day and the plans of the enemy. Amen. Just stand there for. Yes. That means standing is not optional. Yes, sir. It is a must. It's mm. a stand. Therefore, therefore yes. that God has not a, oh, I'm on break, mm. like you said, Pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a good mood. Mm. Oh, I don't feel like. Uh, mm. You better feel like. Mm. Because the devil we are fighting, does, he doesn't go on break. He He's mood. always in the mood. <laughs> he doesn't have mood swing. Mm. You know, believers of today, oh, I'm not in the mood. Mm. I don't feel like coming to church. Mm. I don't feel like praying. Mm. I don't feel like studying the Bible. For information, mm. the devil, the powers we are fighting, they are always in the mood. They, have they are always oh. ready. Mm. They are ready to the first seven. Mm. It's only we play there. Eh, you see, I'm on a break. Even when we are sleeping, the devil is still working. Oh, How come people are having bad dreams when they are sleeping? Of course. Beloved, says, stand there for having gathered your waist with the truth. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It is the truth that we know that will set us free. That's why we have to have the time. Oh, I'm too busy. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, I'm not in the mood to read. You better, you, you, be, you better have the time. Because <laughs> all those household enemies and household altars, household gods, they are real. If you have lived enough, you know that uh -huh, what we are fighting, it is real. But thank God for the truth. Thank God for the power that's in the world. Stand there for having gathered your waist with the truth. Have we put on the bread? Place of righteousness. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And if you will walk in the truth, and if you will walk in righteousness, when it represents, if we be the followers of that which is good, good. who yes. can harm us? Nobody. So that means, as children of God, oh, we have to stand and put on the breastplate of righteousness and stop taking break. Mm. I'm on break. The devil does not take break. Please let somebody type it out. The enemy does not take break. They, don't take break they are busy. They don't take break. That's why even in the Bible, like Pastor preached some few days, few days ago, in the devil, Joshua was before hmm. the throne of God. Yes, sir. And the devil was standing next to him. Yeah. Please. To withstand him, priest, a whole priest, hmm. a whole priest was standing next to him to begin to accuse. And so the devil is not, let me tell you something. The devil 
is not even afraid to be in the presence of God. Uh, look this, at for Job now. Of course, and the sons of God were gathered together. And he went. And he, blub, 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 he was there. And God ah. said, that, What are you looking for? Say, so, I'm going to Afro. <laughs> and let me tell you, the devil is only afraid of the name of Jesus when we gather together. Hmm. But that doesn't mean that it's not in the vicinity. But it's still, and I cannot come with you because we are gathered in the name of Jesus. That's but why we still, bind the devil. We bind the devil now. Let's be realistic. We're not here to glorify the devil. We are telling you. The reality. reality of life. You know, when they, when they want to go to battle, they are real about the weapons of the enemy, about the schemes of the enemy. They don't hide it. The strategies. It, you see, thank you, right? It is we Christians, and sometimes we want to hide all these things. It doesn't matter. Ignorance. matters. Ignorance. It's even no law, defense. It's no defense. That's why you see, this battle mm -hmm. is real. Let me say it again. This battle is real. The devil does not take break. Mm. The devil is not in mood swings. The devil is not a devil by saying, hey, today I don't feel like going out. Let me sleep. And go and do he is always 24 on his toes. And that's why I say that we must be at a last. Never on holiday. Never on holiday. It is we born again at times we are on holiday. Mm, no break off. So you see, that is why you see you and I, you and I, we must stand for that. And having and having mm. shot your feet with the with the preparation of the gospel of peace, which means that we must be at a lot. Mm. Why are we shutting our putting on the shoes so that we can be at a lot to move at any time to preach the gospel to let the whole world know about Jesus and may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 16 says, Yes. He says, Above all, yes. that is after all these things we've been Said saying, and you know, done. Hmm. taking the shield of faith which with which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yes, sir. So God Himself knows that. There are fairy darts. Of course, so. That is, the enemy is always throwing True, weapons. No. Ah, hmm. It is we that we have to be at a last. So that as the thing is coming, we say, back to sender. But yes. somebody is on break. They are always on break. Hmm. They are emotional Christians. Hmm. Today they are serving God. Tomorrow they are not serving God. Ah. Uh, even some people will even come to church. Their attitude is, I'm not in the mood, you know. Hmm. And please let, let, let don't, 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 don't stop me. Let nobody disturb me. Hmm. If God will open our eyes mm. when we are in a service, how many things are gathered even in a service? Mm. Why do we say we take the authority and we bind every spirit and power? Mm. We cast them to the pit of hell. You will be evil. Let me stop there. <laughs> Beloved of God says, <laughs> above all, take the shield. Sorry, I say, and take the M. I'm sorry, above yeah, all, taking the shield of faith, with which we will be able to quench all the falling dance of the wicked one. It is real. Let mm. me say. Oh, you talk about the devil. Oh, oh, oh. Don't magnify the devil. Nobody is magnifying the devil. Even Bible himself says, fiery that's of the wicked. So that means the wicked one exists. He says, hey, above all, take the shield of faith. Let your faith be alive. Let your faith be active. Mm. Don't have this up and down faith. You know up and down faith. Yes, you know your faith. Roller today, coaster. Roller coaster. today oh, somebody's believing God's ah, oh God. Oh, oh, you yeah, are my God. And then yeah, yesterday, oh God. I don't even know whether this oh, God, God exists. Oh, God. oh my God. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Beloved, you have to stand as a warrior with your mm. shield of faith. That is, even if the devil is trying to come, say, ah, let me go to those who are on break. Let oh. me go to those who who are like you said, dearly darling, mm -hmm. let me go to those who are always, he, he, he's always one emotional thing or, or the, the other. other. You know some people, they are like that. Devil don't even try it. Mm -hmm. You come near me, I will cut your hand. Mm -hmm. You put your head, I will, I will cut, cut it off. off. You put your leg, I will cut it off. You put your body, there is that only God's fire. And that's how we're supposed to be as children of, of God. He says, above all, taking the shield of faith, which will be able to quench on fire. He says, and take the, sorry, about what the shield of faith with which you will be able to quit all the fire that of the wicked one. So the wicked one is real. Yes, That's sir. why let us be real with our Christian race. Mm. That's another one. Yes, sir. Please let me put it down. Be real with your Christian race. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be, real. be genuine. Amen. You know, as we are talking, Pastor, mm. don't just drop into my mind. Mm. Now hold on. This enemy we are talking about, this devil. Mm. Do you know the devil doesn't run out of fairy darts? And as Pastor was saying, something was to, 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 to quench all the fairy darts of the evil one. Yeah. The devil has been throwing darts since the beginning of kingdom or the world. He has been through all the darts he, he knew how to throw during the days of the apostles. Ah. 
is still throwing darts up till today. Yes, so, so you see, it is we Christians that must take our stand. That's why I say that and take the helmet of salvation. Mm. You see, we must always be at a light. Yes. Because, let me tell you something. The devil, the enemy, does not run out of weapons. He does not run out of ideas. Hmm. He does not run out of schemes. Mm. He does not run runs out of strategy. Mm. We are not here to glorify the devil. We are making us if you expose the works of the devil. He's here. We are telling you the reality of life about the enemy that you and I mm. are faced up with. So that we cannot let our guard down. No. For one second, we cannot let if this devil, I'm telling you again, mm. if this devil can say blue, 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 that they join but we just <laughs> And go to the presence of God. No, the Bible says that the sons of God were gathering in the meeting. Before is, Almighty God. Is it possible? Let's see. This, is it possible hmm. for anybody to enter in UK? We are in UK, so we are in UK very well. They are having their cobra meeting. That's how they call it. Cobra meeting. Cobra meeting is the highest of the highest of the highest of government. They are having their cobra meeting. And somebody like a tramp or somebody just come and enter. Will he enter? Even if even 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 if you're you can't you can't you can enter. Even how will you enter? Are you saying. going to fly? In? That's what I'm saying. So with all the body that when God is standing, God is in a meeting. Angels will be there. Powers will be there. All the things will be there. And this enemy still found a way to enter into the meeting in the presence of, of God. God. So may, we, see, may we be wise? May we be wise, so we're not, as we said before, please don't get us wrong. We are not here glorifying the enemy. But, but it is in here. Yes, we are telling you because if it's not if it's not important, the Bible will not put it down in Job. We will not put it down when they were talking about Ahab and Co. It will not be there. So it will not be there that, that he is the accuser of the brethren. Do you know the devil can appear at any point in time? Because when you read Revelation, the Bible says is the accuser of, of the, the brethren. brethren day and night. So it goes to the bread of God every time. Lord, look at what this one has done. So what are we saying? That you yeah. and I must take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Yes, yeah, so only through the word of God that we can defeat the enemy. Yes. Nothing else. That's why we must have the word of God in the inside of you. Mm. The devil is not a devil that we can joke with. You come to mm. and you see the 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 if you can say the annoying thing is that he knows your thoughts. He knows if you are a you are deceiving yourself. Of he course. He knows if you are an, an hypocrite. Of he course. knows if the mm. place you came from before you entered the church. Mm. He knows those who are pretenders and raising up holy hands. Mm. So, and that is the, the, the scary thing about all these things. Just as God knows who you are, the enemy too knows who you the are. The devil is older than us. Of course. He knows who you are. And that is why you see we must live a holy life. We must take the helmet of salvation and we must take the sword of the spirit so that you and I will be able to withstand and stand the enemy. And thank God. So, which means that even if you say that you pray, enemy fall down and die, the enemy is destroyed, enemy devil die, this and die. When you still go back home, you still have a battle to face with uh, against the enemy. That means that it's a non-ending battle. You can only pick put him at a bay. That's it. That's it. And that's why you have to be constant. 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 It's a, it's, it's a, it's, there's no one in the Bible that wrote, ah, thank God, the battle is over. I can now relax. There's no one that you wrote that. You keep fighting until you see Jesus. You keep fighting. So it's a never ending battle. Mm. May God give us, and these are the ways, by putting on the whole armor of God, mm. by putting on the whole armor of God, that's how you and I can keep the devil at bay and put his hands in his pocket and not come near us. Even with that, with that, that is stubborn devil. You can still strike, but God will not put us in His hands. In Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. Verse eighteen says, "Praying always mm. with all prayer and supplication yes, in the sir. Spirit, being watchful to do this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints." With that we pray, praying always with all prayer. Yes. Beloved, the mm. Bible is saying. Praying is not optional. It's not optional no. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 7, it says, when ye pray, mm. it's not that if you, you pray. pray. No, it says when you, you pray. pray. That is, it is a must to mm. pray. The Bible says, without praying and fasting, these things will not be it. done. Beloved of God, to fulfill this with what God has called us to be, for the wicked not to mess us up, mm. to the, for the wicked not to throw us up and down. Like this. Beloved, mm. we must be praying. All the Bible says in Luke 81, men. Oh, to, to pray, pray always, always and faint not. not. The Bible says that um, David, he prayed seven times a day. Yes. Somewhere, I say somewhere, 
Um, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Read three times a day. Beloved of God, we need to be praying. Mm, we yeah. have baptisms in the morning, in the noon, in the mm, evening. Yeah. We like cry God. and the Lord will hear me. That's Psalm 55 verse 17. And Psalm 56 verse verse. Verse 9 says, he says, I will cry unto the Lord, mm. then shall my enemies turn back. Yes, for sir. this I know that God is for me, beloved. Yes, he says, pray always with all prayer. Mm. So that means if you are still not praying, you are the only one left. To, mm. You as a child of God, we must pray. We must pray our way to breakthrough. Even after breaking through, you pray so that you will sustain your breakthrough. Mm. After you are sustaining your breakthrough, you are saying, Father, I'm praying again to enjoy my breakthrough mm. in peace. Mm. Peace. So that means not praying, it is not Christian like. You know, Christianity and Christendom and God Jesus Holy Spirit is a continuous process. Mm. It's a continuous that's why we are growing and growing and knowing God the more. Mm. That's why the way you knew God yesterday is different from how you know him today. Yes, so now, if the way you know knew God yesterday is almost the same or lower than how you know God yesterday, how you knew God yesterday, mm -hmm. that means that you're not growing. But that's how you can measure if you are growing or not. Mm. Also, we should check ourselves daily. How do you check yourself to know that ah, I have the more of God or what of God in me? I know God the more. I understand this word the more. Ah, how I knew God yesterday. Now I even know Him the Better. more. That means that you are growing. But if your knowing of God or knowledge of God is dwindling and you don't even know God or the, it becomes a shadow, that means that there's something wrong. That's and a that's, dangerous thing. That, that's why you must grow. You must, that's why you must be growing Christians. Christian growth is a non ending journey. Mm. It's a journey that never ends. We continue that journey until we meet Him. Mm. That's why you see, we need to pray. Pray always. Be ceaseless in prayer. Prayer with supplication. You mm. pray, men ought to pray always. So, prayer is the key. Yes, if you so. know how to pray, then the Lord will uphold you and uphold you so that you and I will fight against the schemes of the devil. Mm -hmm. So, before we go into what we have today, if you have any questions, you can begin to post in your questions and God will help everyone in the name of Jesus. So, as I said before, you have been reading your Bible or maybe you are talking to some friends or maybe you saw something on social media or maybe you saw something on TV or radio, you want some clarifications or needs, quickly you can post in your questions either on Facebook or YouTube and I believe that the Lord will bless everyone as you do this in Jesus' name. Let us rub minds together, let's share together, let's talk together, post in your questions and then we can go into that and God will help us and uphold us mightily Amen. and marvelously. Anyway, so we are waiting for your questions and God will uphold you mightily and marvelously. You know, so you can push it in, God bless you. It is well with your soul and God will uphold you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Mara John, welcome on board. Thank you for the question. It says, in 1 Corinthians 7.15, we see a somewhat reason for something God doesn't like. Should the pastor endorse this as an option? Please, no. can you phrase that properly? Or no, you should, no, you should tell us what is in um, 1 Corinthians 7.15. 7, 7, and that has to do with marriage and, and I think it has to do with marriage and um, if a believer doesn't marry a believer if you are with a Christian if somebody is unbehaving too is, Even is, that phrase I know We see a somewhat reason for something God doesn't like So let's read what it is mm. I know So brother marriage. John please refresh your question apart from the verse I'm picking up the verse right away but refresh that question please make it clearer mm. make it plain The first Corinthians 7 talks about marriage First Corinthians. If you want, you can remain single like he is, and so on and so forth. That's one minute. First Corinthians 7 5. So, please send your questions as we are dealing with this one. You can, as I said, in any area, send your questions. We talk, we deliberate together, either on Facebook or YouTube, and God will bless you. I will pick it up, and God will bless you. So, thank you very much for sending that question. I think it's rephrased it. But if believers depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such a case. But God has called us to peace. Yes, I think I know what you're talking about. That's when an unbeliever and a believer marry. That is, if when they, when they married, they were both unbelievers. I think I know where they're coming from. They are both unbelievers. Now, if they are both unbelievers and one becomes born again, and the other one says that no, this and that, I cannot stay with you. You you, you are unbelievers and you became a Christian. And the Bible says that that person is not bound. The person can leave. That's what it says. That's what that part is saying. The person can leave. But if the person agrees to stay together, they can stay together. Now, the believing partner 
satisfies the children or else their children will be unholy. That's what Paul said. Their children will become unholy. So he's talking about um, two people coming together. They were not Christians and one became a Christian and one is not happy that that one has become a Christian. That person is free to go. But if they, are, they can still work together, but we have seen cases whereby two people are married together and one is a Christian and one is a Christian and they are still husband and they are still managing themselves. They are so, managing themselves. Yes, yeah, so managing themselves. <laughs> on outside. We don't know what happened in the closed doors though, but at least they are managing themselves. So the Bible is saying that if one, the unbelieving says that I want to go, then they are not bound inside the case, they are free to go. That's what I believe Paul was talking about there and from that question. So mm -hmm. should a pastor endorse this option? That is the word of God. You cannot force anybody. You, you cannot force. They, that's what the Bible says. It's in the Bible, I believe. Pastor, read it. Says, that... I'm trying to read New Living Translation. It says, but if your husband or wife, mm. who isn't a believer, insists uh -huh. on living, yes. let them go. That in such cases, it. the Christian husband or wife is no longer bound to of the course. other. For God has called you to live in peace. peace. Yes. So that is what the word of God says. That's if they were both unbelievers before they married. Not... Or even if one is, even if one is, un, one is an unbeliever. So he says, he says, but if the husband or wife... That they are husband and wife, they are married already. Mm -hmm. So they married as unbelievers. So one now became born again. Because it's not saying that if an unbeliever marries... God, if he says that... Paul would have said that a Christian... What does a uh, believer have to do with an unbeliever? So what Paul is saying there is that if both married together and they were unbelievers, and now one becomes born again, now, the other one does not like the idea of being born again. That person is not bound. He's talking about no divorce and all that. That person is not bound. He's not talking about you going to marry an unbeliever. And when you marry an unbeliever as a Christian, you can separate. That is not what he's saying. Ah, no, no, that one is different. So, they marry as unbelievers. Mm. And one becomes born again. Which happens? Mm. One becomes born again. The other one that is not born again does not like the fact the, the partner is born again. So, they want to separate. They say they can separate in such an instance. But he continues to say that if they now stay to, they want to live together, then the believing one would sanctify. They are sanctified because of the believing one. And they are not, they are not unholy, but they are holy children. So that's what the Bible is saying in there. Hmm. Because one in of other translation, they put it in another way. Yeah, what? Read it. Like, God's word translation says, but if the unbelieving partners leave, let them go. That's unbelieving partner, pastor. And after, let's read the whole uh, it says, It says, but if the unbelieving partner, partners leave, let them go. Under the circumstances, a Christian man or a Christian woman is not bound. God has called you to live in peace. Yes. Okay. So he's talking about if they marry together as unbelievers. And one became born again. Uh -huh. And that person doesn't want to say, I can't bear this. This Christianity, that, that person is free to go. Mm. So the pastor doesn't need to endorse this or not. Why? Because it is in the word of God. That is the word of God. But it's not talking about you are a Christian. You are a born again Christian. And you're going to go and marry an unbeliever. Mm. And once you are married, maybe five years, you're not happy. You're not bringing this joker out from the Bible and say, This is, you can say, No, that's not what the Bible is saying. So if you are a believer, marry a believer. Because we've been warned. Yes. But this one, you know, in those days, many of them were unbelievers. And now the gospel came. And some believed, some did not believe. True. So it's been having problems in the church of Corinthians, whereby some people married as unbelievers. Now, the one became born again, and they've been having issues that they cannot cope. Mm. So Paul is saying, in such an instance, the unbelieving partner is free to, to go. go. And that person is not bad because we are called to peace. Mm. That is the reason. Though, mm. if you say you are a believer and you are an unbeliever, that's no. That's when you marry. Before you marry, if you are a Christian and you marry an unbeliever, this does not apply to you. It only applies to those who were married as unbelievers and one became born again, new Christ. And then I want to say that, look, I cannot bear this. I need to go. That's when the person is free. Mm. So we need to make it plain and clear. Mm. So may God help us. In the name of Jesus. That is why if you are out there, you are single, don't put your hand into what uh -huh. you cannot finish. That is it. Don't go and marry a non-believer. Say, ah, when I marry him, eh? And when I marry her, I will change him. I uh -uh. will change her. It doesn't work like that. 
It will only take the grace. It will only take grace and compassion from heaven for there to be a miracle. So don't put your hand into what you cannot cope with. Because once you are there, you are there. Yeah, you just be managing the situation. You have to. You have to. So Paul wasn't talking about that. That's why we need mm. to explain. It is those who marry. For of course, now some people, even though they are nominal Christian or whatever, and they marry together, mm. and one finds Christ and becomes born again, and the other one is not, not that refuse to be born again. Just annoyed, and there's so much friction in the house. Because in those days, they were pagan worshippers. Now, somebody mm. becomes a Christian, they don't want to eat meat anymore, they don't want to go to their temple anymore, they don't want to bow down anymore. The other partner may become, become annoyed. So it's mm. causing friction. And Paul says that, okay, in such a case, that person is not bound. The partner can go, mm. and then the person is free. And they God help us. So we believe that you all understand that, and that's what he's saying. So a pastor doesn't, when it is written in the word of God, no man or woman of God can change what is written in the word of God. It is written, it is written. So you don't need a man or woman of God to endorse what the Bible says. It's already endorsed by God himself. So what we need to do is follow what the Bible says. And do you know, even God Himself has given us a free will. Yes, sir. If God cannot put a rope on our neck and say, Do this, mm. Mm. and then excuse me, no pastor can force anybody. Yes, sir. It's a matter of choice. Yes. A pastor will only give you an advice. Of course. I am suggesting to you, mm. according to the word of, of God, God, it is now left what you say, Yes, I'm taking it on board. Oh. Excuse me, your mouth is smelling. Don't talk to me <laughs> directly or indirectly. Mm. So, you see, life is all, if God Himself says, Choose. That's he right. has given us life and death. No pastor mm. can. I know in some in, in some parts of the world, when some people we miss, we do mistake. Pastor, pa, true story. Pastor, we take him and, and we we'll be whipping people. It is unscriptural. No pastor has the right to be whipping people. No. It's not my fault. All you have to do just say, sorry, oh, this is what the Bible says. So, shall I you take it or mm. you leave it? And we are not supposed to. Find that we are not even supposed to be. Will I say con, con, convincing. convincing you? No. It's like when you're talking to somebody that is not born again. Don't convince them. Tell them the word. It. It's either they take it or they leave it. So if not, then there will be no divorce in this world. How many people will come for cancer and pastors will say, manage. I'm managing my wife. I'm managing my husband too. Manage yourself. You don't mm. have to do it. Hey, no. I must leave. Oh. I, don't, I, I don't like a leg anymore. A leg is like a... Like a... Papa, yeah. What's the name of Papa yeah, now? Doc, doc. doc. Now he's working like a dog. I say, okay. Oh. But eventually, eventually, the thing will bond that person in the future. So we look, we are born free to mm -hmm. make our choices. And Mr. Mark is making a point which we emphasize. I'm going to emphasize it again. Yes. Please, but please, if the person is not asking to leave the marriage, do not put divorce on the table. That yes, so oh, very true. This is the unbelieving mm -hmm. partner. Read that very well. It's the unbelieving partner that will make that move. It's not, not you, believer. believer. Read it again. Read it again. It's the unbelieving partner that will make that move. Like, if the unbelief partner decides to leave, not you, Christian, deciding to, to leave. leave oh. so, so let's make that one make clear. Make it plain. Make it so clear. You would know that. Uh, that's why I said in earlier, <laughs> and I let me put myself, it is only it's for only those who married as unbelievers, yeah. not those who married an unbeliever as a Christian. That This passage of the Bible, Second Corinthians chapter 17, 77 verse 15, does not apply to you if you, as a Christian, married an unbeliever. So that you can, I know that they've said it now. Mm -hmm. So that's Come how you are now. put you know. When I say that, so here is very well. It is only for those who married as unbelievers, and it's the unbelieving one that says, "I want to leave." Not even the Christian one saying that. Really very well. So if the unbelieving partner says they want to leave, then they are not back into the case. They may leave, which means that. Paul still allows them to stay together. And in case you are a believer, you are married to an unbeliever. I don't know, sorry, let me put it this way. If two unbelievers are married, mm. like we said, and the unbeliever said, I'm going. Mm -hmm. If you are truly born again, then start praying. Go on your knees. Of course not. Because if I would God, nothing shall be, be impossible. impossible. So pray that God will touch his heart or her heart, mm -hmm. and then there will be a miracle. Because we don't want to say, ah, 
you see, on the on uh, on uh, body of Christ, the Bible study, they said, well, if and if you are believe, if you are a believer and your partner is not a believer, you can live. We did not say that. No, we're not saying that. It is, the Bible says it is when the unbeliever himself will say, I want to live. And you would have exhausted everything you Option. know how to do. You pray, you fast, you tell oh, people that the man will fear, or the woman will fear. Please let me beg him. Oh, eh, I'm born again. Oh, eh, please. Oh, eh, eh. And then you talk to God. You don't just say, ah, they said we should go and then we go. No, no. no <laughs> and we did not say it. that. Oh. No, that's why you see, we've had testimonies of two unbelievers married mm. and the wife or the husband is a Christian. Thank you, Mr. Michael, praying. for that. Yes, and he's praying, 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 praying. In the end, the husband or the wife now becomes a born again Christian and they now worship God together and serve God together. So I believe that that's what the believing partner should do. Whereby, and as John says, you don't bring that to the table. No pastor will bring that option to the table. Funny enough, no, no, no pastor. even no pastor will even tell anybody, go and leave your spouse. No, Nobody. Even, no, no, it's not even a last resort. No, it's we don't use that a, word. We don't it is not a last resort. resort. I begin, no, no pastor should endorse divorce. Nobody. Because the pastor, I hate divorce. Mm. So no pastor should endorse divorce. You say, uh, okay, go and divorce. Bring the paper. I will sign for you. I will support you. I will go to the court with you. No, no pastor should mm -hmm. endure, endorse. Even if one partner is very aggressive, I do with prayers and all that, as time goes on, things may change. They may separate. Mm. Ah, that's what I'm going to say. They may separate. Because if, you guys, for, if the other part uh, is very aggressive, they may of separate course they, will, they can and separate. Do the prayer, 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 because, prayer. because as a pastor, nobody mm. wants to bury of any course. church member. So you can, they can separate, mm -hmm. and then prayer continues. And the Lord will may touch the heart of the man mm. or the woman. Even and, they can, God does. <laughs> and they can come back together. Mm -hmm. But you know, no pastor should, no man or woman of God should endorse divorce. Because that is not the plan and the will of God. Jesus said that in the beginning, God did not say it so. Yeah. God did not do it so. It was through the hardness of your heart that Moses said that, write a letter of divorce for her. But in the beginning, it was not so. That's God why I keep saying it. I'm sorry to say, well, I'm not sorry. It is not every pastor has got business with settling marriage issues. It's not every pastor. Some people don't know how to settle marriage issues. Mm. They will only put salt and pepper in it. And they will help. Salt. Well, I, I mean, they will, uh, yes, I mean, they uh, will, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, they will only put pepper. And they will actually enhance the, 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 the scattering of relationship. No. Yes, That's why if you know you are not grace as a pastor in that area. You notice you can say A and B. Instead of things getting better, they carry their Which pastor will admit that pastor? May God ah. help us. No, eh, look, oh, we have to be real Which, in this world. Are real, but pastor, which individual will admit that they don't know? It's only the grace of God. And and if you go to a place and it's, you you will know that, okay, because even if you go for counseling, mm. I believe that after the counseling session with your pastor or whatever, things should go better. If things are not going better and it's getting worse, that means that there's an issue somewhere. That is, that, that, is, is, that, is, that is bad market. That's a, yeah, that's a yastic. That's a yastic. And if you, as a pastor, you are doing and you see that everyone you are counseling for marriage, they are getting, getting worse, worse, go to God and pray that, Lord, give me the grace wisdom. and wisdom in that. And God will help you. And even if you are a pastor and are doing that, I believe that if you, you are doing that and you are having problems, go with your partner, your husband and your wife, and then you can resolve things together to talk to the couple. I believe that that will also help. When you have, if you are a man and when you talk to married, married you do my counseling and there are issues, then call your wife to it. If you are a woman and there are issues, call your husband to it so that you can deliberate together and talk to them together. Can and I, I believe say, that can I say, that's so that means when pastors, husband and wife, when they are going for counseling, the man should not be shutting the woman, I mean the wife down. <laughs> Mama, please, let me, let me, let me deal with this. No, you are in it together. Because you can think, oh, you know, you'll be surprised. People think, oh, I know everything and nobody knows everything. Nobody knows everything. With the, what you don't know, your wife will know. Mm -hmm. What your wife don't know, mm -hmm. your wife and uh, the husband will know. That's why, as well as, as that's why, and that is the more reason husband and wife that are in ministry must agree together. Mm. If there's no the agreement, it will be difficult for them True to person. cancel other people that are going through uh, will I say katakata in their marriage. Because mm. if pastor and pastor misses are having katakata in their marriage, mm. there's no way they can help anybody. They will even, they will even use their own frustration on them to cancel them. Mm. Because that means the man, the, the, the male pastor, if he's possessed in an area, you, I mean, we 
with the wife, we put it on on the wife that comes for counseling, mm. and so also the the, the woman. woman pastor too. That is why I'm, we are begging you, pastors, including us, we all have to be in peace and harmony mm. so that we can do a good work over the people that God has placed under us. Because if husband, if husband and wife as pastors are always quarreling, quarreling, how can you deal with marriage issues? Mm. And whether we like it or not, there will be marriage issues to deal with. In the church so that means we have to be healthy a sick person cannot heal a sick person we have to be healthy to be able to help and healthy marriage out there and may god help everyone out there in jesus name that's why you say even as pastors people are watching you yes sir. they are watching how you are doing with your wife true they are watching how you are doing with your husband mm -hmm. now if a man a pastor man is nasty to his wife I don't believe that any couple want to go to such a man for counseling because they have seen they have seen the way he behaves and also if a they're woman, ignorant and they're looking they will, for support they, they, will, they will see i believe that people will see and know mm. people will see and know that definitely this or if it's a woman the other way around mm. the way is she's treating the husband of course People will be a little bit skeptical to go to such a person. That they may go to other things mm. for prayer and all that. But when it comes to marital issues, they may not want to go because they have seen that this is not setting a this person is not setting a good example out there. So if I take this to him or her, there will be more error. Because people are seeing, let's be honest. People see. Anything people we watch, do on the altar, monitor. they are seeing. All your behavior, all your signal, mm. all your turnaround, all your squeezing face, people see and read yeah. meaning. That's why you see. May God help us because pastors are human beings and pastors who too have their challenges. Oh, yes. And pastors, many a times, you who are not even pastors, when you are coming to church on a Sunday, you have one quarrel or the other with your wife as you're driving and you're talking. How much more pastors? And you know, pastors have to put that behind them and say, Come and preach the word of God yes. and do all that. So, pastors put in more, uh, uh, more extra, if I say, they put in extra into what they are doing because, you know, they are the public to face. Own. Much, much is given, given much, much is respected. Yes. That's why he said, Give them double honor. Mm, if you are it. out there disrespecting your pastor, mm. you are living in error. Mm. You will not live in error. Amen. So may God uphold us in Jesus' Amen. name from that. So, no divorce is permitted. Mm. May God help us and uphold us. He says, mm. What God has joined together, let no ministry of counseling put as put under. As under of course, now. it is true. So may God help us in Jesus' name. So I believe you are. You are blessed in that and you understand that. I don't, I don't think there were any questions. No other questions. I don't believe. Mm -hmm. I think that answers all about it. If you have questions, you can quickly post it either on Facebook or YouTube and answer another question. But God will uphold us in your name. And we pray that the Lord Himself will uphold every marriage. Amen. In the name oh. of Jesus. You know, marriage can be the best thing that will happen to an individual yes. if it's handled with care. Yeah. But it can be the worst thing. I and mean, it happen, happen to an individual, God forbid, mm. if it's not handled the way it's supposed to be mm. handled. That's why you see, and then we said it on our couples forum, that marriage is not about you becoming a millionaire. Hmm. If marriage is about millionaire or billionaire, then millionaires and billionaires will not divorce. They must have the best marriage yes. on planet Earth. Marriage is not about your head hmm. knowledge. Your IQ is high. If not, professors... And a professor in theology... ...will not be divorcing. Pastors Mar will not be divorced. Of course, marriage is mm. not about leadership. That I am the leader. I am the leader of this country. I know how to manage it very well. There are many leaders of, a con of countries whereby they are divorced. So it's not about that. Marriage mm. is not even about I'm a pastor, I'm a man or woman of God. If mm. not, pastors will not be divorced. So what is marriage? Marriage is following the precepts of God. Because God is the one that is their marriage. Yes. So you need to follow the guidelines of God regarding marriage so that mm. the marriage can stand. Not everyone can handle marriage. But through the grace of God, you'll be able to handle marriage. Because marriage is very fragile and a delicate thing and must be handled with care. No more, no wonder Paul didn't have time for marriage because he knew and that. That's okay. what I wanted to say. That if, if you choose to be an Enoch, mm -hmm. you want to become a sister, like a why Paul. not? Mm -hmm. Why not? That's why the book just says that some are given from heaven, some become innocent because of the word of God, some become innocent because of, of men. So, if that is what you want to be, God bless you. If but you if choose to marry, as Paul said, if you choose to marry, you know for sure. Paul said something in that same First Corinthians 7 that if you choose to marry, know that your attention is divided. You care about your wife or husband and you care about God also. But said, someone who is not married ah, can focus on God for 100%. But you know, it's not 
easy to So single, able. celebrate your singleness. And why it lasts? Why it lasts? You got married. <laughs> Even single mother celebrate your whatever yes, so. or single fathers why it lasts because very soon you get married. So all what you want to do as a single person, do it now because you don't know the type of man you will marry as a woman, the type of woman you marry as a man. Mm. So do all what you do, all your dreams, live. You know, some people say, I want to live my dreams before I get married. And they will live all their dreams. And after they've lived all their dreams, they get married. So even if they don't live their dreams in their mind anymore, they don't mind because they have lived their dreams already. So may God uphold us and guide us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So I think that answered uh, no other question. So mm -hmm. let's go into what we have today. And I bet that God will bless us. So once again, you are welcome to Bible study online. Yes, God yes, will bless yes. you, increase and prosper you. God will make you flourish in the Jesus. We have been talking about the whole armor of God. And the whole armor of God is very, very powerful. If you miss any of this edition we have been talking about since the beginning of this year, you can go back to our Facebook page or YouTube channel. I can begin to be blessed. Wednesdays, Wednesday is there, and God will bless you. In the or you can go to playlist on YouTube or videos on Facebook and begin to watch it one by one and God will bless in case and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. We are talking about the book of Ephesians chapter 6. We are, we are now in verse 18. Mm. And it says, pray. Okay, amen, amen. On behalf of all the singles, you will fulfill your purpose of every phase of your life. Amen. amen. Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Mm. Now, how do you pray in the spirit? That is the question. How do we pray in the spirit? Because the Bible says that with all prayer. Now, there are two parts here. Praying always with all prayer. That's part one. We've done about that. We've done that. The type of prayers you have, mm -hmm. how you can pray, how you mingle prayer with other things and all that. And it says, like, and supplication mm. in the spirit. So, how do we pray? in the spirit and then number two before i forget what is the essence and importance of praying in the spirit that's number let's hold that with okay. our hand for so how do we pray in the spirit that okay. is the question if i'm to um say something and praying in the spirit is allowing the holy spirit to lead you but many people think oh praying in the spirit is only when you are speaking in tongues it is beyond speaking in tongues it is allowing the holy ghost to lead you into which prayer points, into which direction to go. The Bible says that my people do not receive because they ask amiss. amiss. But when we allow the Holy Spirit, that we allow the, live, the Spirit of the living God within us, us to lead us, they will not be saying prayers that they will not even go hmm. above our ceiling. And we'll be saying the right prayer points. And hmm. God will help us in Jesus' name. So Paul has said a lot. So how do we pray in the Spirit? How do we and when you are praying how do you know that the spirit is giving you points or the spirit is the one leading you in your prayers how do you because you know we need to know that this prayer point is it of flesh of god or of my thinking because as pastor said in james chapter 4 said that some people pray and they pray and miss mm. why because they <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, yes. <laughs> they prayed and they prayed and not that they are praying because you see, mm. what can be most frustrating for a Christian is praying and not seeing results. Thank you. It's praying and not seeing results. Mm. We must pray and get results. And one of the ways by which we can pray and get results is by what? Praying in the spirit. spirit. Now, Paul prayed. I guess when he prayed, number one, he did not understand. He prayed again. Then said, Lord, take this turn out until the Holy Spirit told him, Look. Stop wasting Stop your time. time. Look for other prayers to uh -huh. pray. Ah, and then he stopped praying that prayer. So you see, because you could have gotten frustrated that, well, I've been praying about this. God has answered me everything. You know, we need to know which prayers are being spirit led mm -hmm. and which prayers are being fleshy led. Now, use that mm -hmm. word. Why? Because if somebody is praying a fleshy prayer, they'll be frustrated. Very frustrated. You see your friend getting married, you not pray about marriage. You see your friend. Buying a car, you not pray about a car then. It is when your friend has bought a car or is getting married. Oh Lord, don't remember me too, Lord. Yes, yes, my house, my car. Remember See, me. Oh. That's a fleshy prayer. That's not a prayer being prompted by the Holy Ghost. And such a prayer can never be answered because you not prayed out of your heart. You prayed it because you saw somebody doing that. Can I mind that they do the prayer? Ah, ah. And that's why you see, as Christians, we must pray our right. May God help us. So we are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. How can we pray in the spirit? I remember many, many years ago, mm -hmm. 
when we were in the old church, I went there to do three days with God. And I remember that day when I got there, I, ha I had this long list from home. So as I sat down and I began to worship, and God said, that's your prayer list to put it aside. That's not what I want you to pray for. Mm. And, he and he now gave me some prayer points. And to be honest, it was nothing compared to what I put down on my paper. So honestly, it's, 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 it's good for the Holy Spirit to live. That's why anytime we are praying, after thanking God for forgiveness of sins, you ask, Lord, oh, Holy Spirit, oh, come in, oh, lead me. Oh. Because we see, if we don't allow, the Bible says, we do not know what to pray for. Not, That's not Romans 8.26. Mm. We don't know what we, what we ought to pray for. for. But the Spirit, the Spirit of God, God make intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Understood. You mm. see? May God help us. May God teach us mm. in Jesus' name. Mm. That's why you see we must pray in the Spirit and know that this is the leading of God and the prompting of God. And when we pray in the Spirit, God will hear. We've seen instances where people pray and God answered. Look at when they prayed about Peter for Peter when he was in prison and God answered instantly. Look at Paul and Sarah when they were in prison and God answered instantly. Mm. So you know, and you should know that you cannot use fasting and prayer to bribe God. Let me let me land on that. Mm. Because David tried it. Mm. David had a word from God mm. that the child would die. Mm. And he went on a fasting mm. spree. That no, God is a God that answers prayers day one, mm. day two, day three, without mm. eating, laying down, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Mm. And then he had his people talking behind. And now they think that the child is dead. So God refused to answer that prayer, even though David fasted for seven days. So you see, that is praying amiss. And we need to get all those things so that our prayers can be answered. Mm. I'm not a, I'm not saying you don't fast up, don't get me mm. wrong. I'm just saying that there are some things. Some people will say that if they sin, they'll go on the mountain and pray and fast for three days and God will hear. When, when they have sinned deliberately. Intentionally. intentionally. So that's why we must be careful mm. because there's nothing you can use to bribe God. God is mm. a human being that you can bribe. That's why you see, one of us, we need to be careful and pray and write. Pray in the spirit so that God will help us in Jesus' name. I like this. It says using verses of the Bible to pray. That is it. Yes. You that that. Because um, like now, we know somebody can pray, Oh, Father, I want to be married. Lord, Lord, uh, give me a husband. And you know that somebody is married. Mm -hmm. And you are still following the person. Uh, no. And you are still praying it. Father, Father, Father. He's mine. Think, She's mine. The Bible He's says, mine. Tell us, even, funny now, even praying with the verses, you have to apply those verses correctly. That is it. The Bible that says, I will decree a thing and it shall be established. So you can say, Oh, oh, Father, uh, your word declares. I decree. That, I, that man I, is mine. The, when mine. you know that the man has three wives already somewhere else. So that is a wrong prayer. So yes, we use the Bible, but we must actually use those verses appropriately, mm. not just mis misusing it. quotes. Misusing the Bible so may God help us. So many people like misquoting the Bible and misusing the Bible to suit their own selfish, selfish desire and, and dreams. That's why you see, we must be able, we must know that we are praying our right. If you are praying and right, God will grant you your request. He mm. will answer you. If you are praying according to His, to his will, that's why we must know what the will of God is for our yeah. lives. If you know what God, the will of God is for your life, for our lives, then you can pray that will to fulfillment and to come to pass. Mm. But when somebody prays outside the will of God for them, God will not answer. That's why you see, we must be very careful and God will help us. Maybe somebody is saying, well, I used the verses in the past to pray for something that was not really right. And you see, I got it. Ah, There are consequences. Mm. You know, there are some times when we think it is God working. God will just fold his hand. I'm mm. not the one working, though. No. You are just working it out by yourself. Mm. For example, somebody is supposed to marry somebody. Else. I mean, somebody is marrying somebody. Else. When somebody is marrying somebody, somebody they're not supposed to marry. God will not put a cane and say, no, no, no. God will leave you now. Ah, I say, ah, God answers my prayers. And by the time the trouble will start, you'll oh, be the only one facing it. it. Of course now. And say, ah, but I prayed now. Mm. But remember, God said, no, don't do what you are doing. It could even it could be an employment, it could be a business. Don't do this thing. Somebody is not hearing it. No, I must do it. Ah, I must do it. Oh, people are making it. And by the time you go into it and things are happening, you can't say, but I use the Bible now. Mm. I will lay my hands upon, I will prosper, I will be the head, and everything. And the God and God will say, Did I send you? Mm. 
so we are that's why we need wisdom mm. we need the leading of the holy ghost yes, this, the children of god are led by the spirit, spirit of, of god. god do you know if as children of god if we are being led by the spirit of god we'll be saying the right prayers not the wrong prayers we will not be saying foolish prayers may mm. we not say foolish prayers in jesus name amen someone says shutting out distractions when pray can also help us to hear the holy spirit yes and pray in the spirit that is why you see jesus said that when you want to pray go into the room yes Lock the Lord. doors and the windows mm. and the father who sees the secret will reward you so we need to pray and may god help us in jesus name i like this yes so you know i said i call it interpretation of convenience yes, that is that the truth mm. you know anything anybody wants to do in this world they can find the bible for you it. you can find the bible verse for it you can't know if you want and you just and but you know with like, hey, i'm deceiving myself oh. of course not. you know we can deceive man we can deceive ourselves but we cannot deceive god, god. Mm. I cannot let the, not only God, you cannot even deceive the enemy. The enemy sees. That's oh, why. Yes. You see, let me tell you something. Mm. God and the enemy hates hypocrites. <laughs> they are the they, are, they, they hate them with the the enemy hates hypocrites because they are pretenders. God also hates ah, hypocrites because they are folks, pretenders. I don't think the enemy hates hypocrites, and I'll it tell does. you why. It I'll, does. I'll tell you it why. Does because I know they are on his side, but because they say, ah, whoa, well done. I know. Be very hypocritical. That is the devil will say, the devil will have a place, we have a ground to walk. That's why the devil deals with them seriously because they are not on God's side, they're not on the devil's side, they are in between and they are trying to play hanky panky. That's why don't be a hypocrite. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody says, asking for more fire and power of God can lead us to go into the spirit to pray, yeah. which is true. Once you have power and fire, then you can pray in the spirit and you have spirit led prayers. Mm. You know that if you are just spiritual, you can be getting prayer points while you are sleeping. Yes, yeah, so you wake up, you have the prayer point. That's why you see, even I know that everybody hasn't got this gifting, but you have it, make sure. That's why you see, when you are in church and you are given the grace to lead a prayer. Let the Spirit give you the prayer points. Don't preempt and begin to write the prayer points. I'm not saying it's wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get mm. me wrong. But I would rather the Spirit of God lead you in that mm. prayer point. And you can, because when the Spirit of God leads you, the Spirit of God knows what people are going what's wrong You'll with them. You'll be saying church, the right, right prayer thing. point. But once you have pre determined the prayer points, the temple prayer points, that means that when the Spirit is bringing prayer, say, no, Spirit of God is number three. I won't finish number three. I have seven prayer points here. Mm -hmm. So by the time you finish your seven prayer points, you'd have forgotten and time would have gone. That's why it's always important to be led, led by, by the Spirit, Spirit of God. God. When you are led by the Spirit of God, you pray prayers that are mind-blowing. You pray prayers that will hear testimonies. You pray prayers that people who are hearing the prayers will be moved by the prayers. Mm. Why? Because you are touching what they are going through and what's happening to them because it is the Spirit of God leading the prayers. But if you have preempted the prayer points before you leave your house and before you come to that church, Unless the Holy Ghost has really give put it in your point. heart. Exactly. Yeah, because it's That's possible. The, of course, people can give you that point. If you're actually prepared. prepared. And give you more prayer points and then you can go. Like so may God help us in the name of Jesus. It's very important for us to also prepare praying in the spirit of in the spirit. Mm. Now, I think I asked another question. Sorry, I just want to read this one. Mm. Um, Romans 8.26. Mm. Just one second. Romans 8.26 says, And the Holy Spirit help us in our weakness. Yes, sir. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, mm. but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. That is it. That's uh, I've just read New Living Translation. Mm. So you see, we must allow, and that's speaking in tongues. So another form of, let, let, let's do that before we go to another question. Mm. That's been, another form of, of, of supplication is, is speaking in tongues. After you have prayed, then you speak in tongues. Yes, you're so. going to God. Listen to this, you're going to God. And start with finishing tongues, and finish with finishing tongues without praying in your, mm. own, in your own language. Yes. It's not good enough. Listen to that. You go to God. Your money prayer, you begin to speak in tongues, mama, mama, you speak in tongues, and then you say, just, and you go away, and then night prayer, you speak in tongues, and you go away without speaking, you're without praying in understanding. You need the you need both together. Even though you, you will say, never know how to pray. That's you never know how to pray. Never. You will never ever know. And you know, I've been to church whereby I tell that them, is a problem. Mom. The problem in churches today, I've been, you know, mm. when I go around, I've been to church whereby we call prayer points and they don't know how to pray there, there was a church i went to i almost got frustrated and i saw that the three prayer points I, they were all speaking in tongues i said okay praise god thank god i speak in tongues now let us pray in understanding these prayer points are prayer points of understanding the next prayer point i call pray in 
understanding. They were speaking in tongues. They began to speak in tongues. But they don't know how to pray. I just stopped the prayer and went into the word of God because mm -hmm. you know that's the way. And if you are speaking in tongues, is very good. But if you every prayer you want to pray, you speak in tongues, then you will not be able to pray in understanding. Now, when you see a demon manifesting and you begin to speak in tongues, the demon will be looking at you like this. Because the tongue doesn't include the word of God. But when you begin to now pray, you pray in the name of Jesus, you pray in understanding and ask speaking in tongues to it. Of course, that speaking in tongues will become fire. And exactly it will work and cast out that demon. But that is the difference. So speaking in tongues is good, but you supplement the speaking in tongues with um with prayer. In understanding. understanding. Remember in the beginning, they were praying first and foremost. They were praying, 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 and then the Holy Ghost came on them, and their prayer was tongue to speaking in tongues. Not that they started like that as God speaking in tongues. So, and when you read also Acts 4, 4, I think 29 downwards, they were praying and they began to speak in tongues after prayer. So, each time you see that they are praying and speaking in tongues, the only place that they speak in tongues is when they receive the first time, like Cornelius. Or when Paul prayed for them, you know, so that that's a sign of receiving the Holy Ghost. So it's very important. So may God help us in Jesus' name. This Romans 8, mm. 26. Let me read it 27, but let me read from 26 and then we'll come with 27. Yes. It says, in the same way, mm. the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we, we do not know we how, to, how to we, we do not know how we ought to pray. Mm. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words mm. and he who searches our hearts yes, knows the mind of the spirit mm. because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of, of god mm. which is very important it says according to the will of, of god. god so may god help us in jesus name and i think the question two we we'll run that off very soon is the importance of praying in the spirits and being led by the spirit that's yes. the question yes the importance of praying why is it very important for us to be praying in the spirit and being led by by lead, uh, praying a spirit-led prayer yes praying a spirit-led prayer it. why is it important for us to pray a spirit-led prayer why is mm. it important as christians why is it important why is it important for us to pray a spirit-led prayer why is it important for us? I would say it's important so that we can know God better, mm -hmm. so that we will not be praying foolish prayers. Get results. So that we will pray and get results. We have testimonies. So that we can have, we have a very destiny. Apart from, you know, when we pray, mm -hmm. when we're just praying, our prayer is apart from adoring God, praising God, honoring God. When we pray, we are also making our request known to God. Oh, yeah, that's supplication. Supplication. And that's why you see. Um, and for us to be encouraged, our prayers must be answered. But when your prayers are answered, mm. that gives you more boldness and more confidence more to, audacity. Audacity to pray more because God has answered Hallelujah. you. And that's why it's important for us to pray the right prayer point. Because the Bible says that <coughs> some people were praying for 70 years and fasting. God did not hear them. Why? Because they were praying the wrong prayers. Mm. Hey, they were praying for 70 years. My God. 70 years. God did not hear them. Not that they were not praying. No. They were praying for 70 years. Mm, mm, and mm, God mm, did mm, not mm, answer them. That will not be our portion. Amen. That's why it's very important for us to pray in the Spirit and pray and write. When you pray the right prayers, God will answer you and there will be result. Just mm. as the, um, the servant of Abraham, he prayed at that well, the right prayer points. I believe that was not even more than 10 minutes. And he prayed, and before he finished praying, Rebecca had come and mm. did that watch he wanted him to do, her to do. And she did, a miracle happened straight away. And Rebecca became the wife of mm. Isaac, just according to the prayer of the servant of Abraham. So, prayers works. Prayers are important, but we must pray according to the will mm. of God. So may God help us. Now, if that servant had gone to Canaan and stood by the well of Canaan and prayed that prayer, God would not answer. But because he went to the right place, me at the right time, he prayed that prayer and God answered. That's why we must be in the right place to pray the right prayer and God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So Amen. I'm just going to see where he says that they prayed for 70 years and God did not answer. It's somewhere in... Is it in Jeremiah or Ezekiel? I like Jeremiah or Ezekiel. I forgot saying where it was. I like Jeremiah that they prayed and sat on his face for 70 years and God did not hear. It's mm. talking about the type of fasting and prayer he wants. Mm. I Actually, here he says, Zechariah 7 5. Mm. Ask all the people of the land and the priests, 
when you first had a month in the fifth and seventh month for these 70 years, here's the one. Mm. It was really, was it really for me that you fasted? Because they were in idolatry. Mm. They were disobedient to God. And they were praying and fasting. And God said, you are just wasting your time. You are wasting your effort. That's why we need to be very careful. No, people say, ah, oh, have to just pray and fast. It will be okay. And yet they are living a reckless life. That is it. Mm. Oh, may God help us. May God listen. help us. That's why we must, you see, as good as Christianity is, one dangerous thing about Christianity is that Christendom is that if care is not taken, you may turn into a routine. Mm. You may take, turn into a religious duty. And the line, the, there's a thin line between reality and routine, reality and religious duty. Now, somebody may be going to church or coming to church every Sunday, you may be seeking God. But if care is not taken, they will not turn it to a religious duty. That's why we must have the revelation of that the Holy it. Spirit. That is it. Because there's a thin line between serving God and then turning the serving of God to a religious duty. Whereby it now becomes a duty on you, demanded by the religion, that you must do this and you must do it. If you don't do mm. it, and they will be on your back, they will be calling you, and you don't do it out of love for God. You are doing it out of because they begin to pester mm. you. And you see, that's where the danger is for us. That's why we must be at a lot. We must be led by the Spirit of God. We must read the Word of God. You must keep your your spiritual life fresh. That's the word. You must keep your spiritual life fresh. Alive. Alive and fresh. When you keep your spiritual life fresh and alive, then new water, new ideas for the Holy Spirit begins to flow in. If there's a river or a pond and water doesn't go in or come out, what does Island. It? Island or a, po or a pond or whatever. Small garden of water and water doesn't go in or come out. What happens? It begins to stink. Tadpole and all this thing begins to grow. But when there's fresh water coming in and there's extra water going out, what happens? The pond or the pool, then we call it, becomes fresh. And that's why you see, you must keep your life fresh, your Christendom fresh mm. as a child of God by reading the word of God, yes, by so. praying, by fasting regularly, by but seeking the face tired. of God, by being holy, by serving God. These are the things that can keep one on the move. A Christian must always be on the move. Keep moving. You must keep moving. There's, in, there's no, there's, 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 there's no stopping in Christendom. Mm -hmm. You must be on the move. And God give us that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. That's why right. the Bible says, "Work out your salvation with fear and, and trembling." trembling. Yes, you don't just sit down, mm -hmm. fold your hands, and say, "Oh, manna will fall from heaven." Mm -hmm. The days of manna uh, over, over. 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 We have to actually walk it out with fear and trembling. And this, you enhance your spiritual mm -hmm. life by the things you do. Yes, so. So may God help us in Jesus' name. I think we we'll end there and God will help us in Jesus' name about prayer. So please check yourself, evaluate yourself, mm. and then be truthful to yourself and make sure you are standing in the Lord and God Himself will uphold us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just one prayer for the Lord. Uphold me to the end. Amen. No, Don't let me no. fall by the wayside. Begin to pray and tell God. Father, Jehovah, we come into prayer, so God, uphold us from my hand. We will not fall by the wayside. My children, my brothers, we will not fall by the wayside. Every agenda of every other fall by the wayside. I cancel and notify today. In the name of Jesus, Manta, Gora, Bagadia, Lamosha. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now let's go before God and ask God one tangible, that tangible thing you want God to do for you. Be led by the Spirit tonight. Ask God that which you want God to do for you. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank yes. you. We bless your name. We worship mm. you. We adore you. Yes. We say, be magnified, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, because the Bible says, unto which all flesh come, yes. that the one that answered by fire, be magnified, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, accord, Lord, as we have acts according to your will. Father, answer every man, even right now, every woman, every child, right now, in the name of Jesus. If anybody is watching and they are sick in their body, we command divine healing right now. Yes. By the name of Jesus Christ, you are made all in the name of Jesus. If anyone is in trouble, we declare the anointing of God will deliver you from that trouble in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever it is that you are believing God for, whatever is our heart's perfect to the will of God, we take delivery even right now, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And it shall be well with us. Yes. And we will continue to live for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our lives will be unto the Lord, not unto Amen. the devil. In the name of Jesus, Father, Amen. we bless your name. We worship you for granting all our prayer requests. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. 
Amen. If you pray, and I want to give your life to Christ. That's very important. You can be led by the Spirit of God. Just say this simple prayer after Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come before you. I come before you. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And I cannot save myself. And I cannot save myself. I accept you today. I accept you today. As my Lord. As my Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. And cleanse me. And cleanse me. Give me your Holy Ghost. Give me your Holy Ghost. To empower me. To empower me. And save me, Lord. And save me, Lord. From the devil. From the devil. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For accepting me. For accepting me. The way I am. The way I am. In Jesus' name. I pray, Amen. If you have just said this podcast, you are born again. You know what? If you are living within London, we are yes. taking the time to to church mm. Sundays at ten a.m., Mondays and Fridays at 9, um, seven p.m. Join us. That is the address on the screen, and God will bless you. If you are living outside London, look for a Bible believing church to go. Tell the man or woman of God you are just born again. To nurture you in the way of the Lord, and I believe they will nurture you in the way of the Lord. Mm. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in Jesus' name. And don't forget our. Weekly programs, Sundays, um, 8 p.m., Couples Forum, join us. You're not married, you may the same. you may the same again. You don't need to be married before you join us because if you are not married yet, you get nuggets. Amen. If you are still single, single mother or father, you know what? You still get nuggets to, to, to be able to handle it properly by the grace of God. Amen. So join us 8 p.m. every Sunday and God will bless you. And then Wednesday, like you have Bible study, join us 7 p.m. and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please don't forget. Um yeah, my cry, oh God, every Sunday morning, 6 o'clock, every Monday, 11 o'clock at night, every Wednesday, by the grace of God, every Wednesday, um, 1 o'clock, <laughs> 1 o'clock, <laughs> amen, and after tomorrow, no, tomorrow is Thursday, after tomorrow, Thursday, for the next 6 months, there will be no yeah, my cry on a Thursday, but tomorrow we are coming, and you know we are, and by the grace of God, every day, we have here my Christ so clock in the morning be a part of this and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Don't forget prophetic hour, nine o'clock every Tuesday. God will bless us to join us. And amen. then a fire fire prayer conference tomorrow, Thursdays at nine PM. Join yes. us and tell your life shall never remain the same again. God is a mighty God. Amen. And then for our monthly programs, and here my cry, we have three days praying and fasting, which we are on already. We've done two today's the second day and tonight by God's grace at twelve midnight sharp sharp and we'll be coming on twelve midnight because we are doing three days praying and fasting so be a part of this and then tomorrow is the last day which is um one o'clock tomorrow six o'clock in the morning and one o'clock in the afternoon so be a part of this and God will bless us all in Jesus' name is the end of the month praying and fasting and not forget the third Sunday of the third Friday of every month. We have Holy Ghost, Night VJ. This um, theme, the theme for this one is empowerment. Yeah, you, want yeah. empower, you want to be empowered, mm -hmm. join us. And God will bless you. Prayer for empowerment. Word of God for empowerment. Join mm -hmm. us this Friday. By the, grace of, um, the third Friday of every month, and God will bless you just at 11, 12 midnight. Amen. Seven minutes. And um, please, every... The first seven days of the month, starting from the 1st of October through to the 7th, we have empowerment on the air. My cry, oh God, six o'clock in the morning. Be a part of this, and your life will not be the same in Jesus' name. Beloved, we cannot overpray. Mm. May we not underpray in Jesus' Amen. name. And then the last day of every month, we have Giga Explain the crossing mm. over explain when the cross over with us into the month of October, which is tomorrow by the grace of God. Join us at eleven forty five for thirty minutes and God will bless you. And so tomorrow's program is packed. Six AM, one PM. Um, 9 p.m. for fire for fire, and then 11 for the five. For God have mercy. So please join us on all this. Hmm. Just one off, and God will bless you. What is wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. The month of October is going to be awesome. Very awesome. It's going to be full of testimonies. Yes, so please sir. don't get out of all these prayers. Though. It's because we have been launched into the month of greatness. Yes, so. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it on the screen. Subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the little notification button on the side. As you press it, you don't miss any of our programs ever again. Amen. And don't forget <laughs> our Facebook feed. That's it. Like the page. Love the yes, page. Love yes, the page, yes. And um, share the page. And God will bless you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. And we are taking this opportunity once again to invite you to church. Come to church, Pastor Pelham, the church. That's the address on the screen. By the grace of God, when you come, your life cannot be the same anymore. Mm. Sunday service starts 10 o'clock and it's sharp, sharp. 
when you come, we have goodness for you. The Holy Ghost will touch you. Yes, sir. You do the unusual, we do the miraculous. Mm -hmm. We change the unchanging, and you will return all with testimonies. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks everyone for joining us. All the men and women of God, Pastor, please, be and thank you for joining us. And all the other men and women of God, we appreciate you. And everyone joining us, God will bless you and prosper you. Amen. We appreciate you. Join us every time we have programs. God will bless you and prosper you. You will always arise and shine. You will always stand up wherever you go to. And the name of God shall be glorified even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. So once again, thank you very much. God bless you. We we'll see you tonight at 12 midnight. By the grace of God, and see them in the morning, and God will bless you. Thanks once again, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, I shall have a blessing, fellowship, one, two. May the, the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise God, Hallelujah. Thanks for joining. God bless you. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, and bye bye, and bye bye. In the name of Jesus, we are blessed and highly favored in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. Oh, 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 oh